Hmm, it seems like we've got or we have managed to find one of the last survivors. Let's go and have a closer look at one of my favorite little creatures out here. I was so excited to see it that I think I gave Senzo a fright. Can you guys see this tiny little thing here? We found one of the last dung beetles. Yay! I am so excited to see this little thing and he's carrying not only a lot of dung and it's quite a beautifully formed ball if I may say so well done but lots of flies around him and you see it's made it with uh, the dung of an elephant and it seems to be a bit moist still so the flies I'm sure are just here going down for the sodium and pretty much anything else they can find what a monument task I mean going all the way up into this little mound just to try and get its ball onto wherever it is that he's decided to carry it around Whew, I always feel sorry for them because you know they always push with their hands and then they start pushing back and it's their long legs that manage to somewhat keep the ball rolling no no you can do this we have faith see often they'll come back up onto the ball if the ball rolls onto the wrong direction they'll look around the sense of where they're supposed to go and then they'll start trying again Unfortunately, there is a bit of a stick not too far, so I wonder if maybe he's trying to avoid it. But what a beautiful ball is managed to build. Very, very round. Very proud of you. Oh, where are you going down now? Hmm. So, a lot of the times, the, the dung beetles, he's going to probably carry this ball somewhere into the bush where he's going to bury it or bring it to his potential mate as a as a gift for food because you know that is apparently the way to our hearts people just need to bring us food i don't like mine in the form of dung so tristan don't get any ideas <laughs> but it is a serious proof of love of endurance and wanting to make sure that you manage to survive or your children manage to survive onto the next season now everything's becoming a lot colder so we're not going to be seeing too many of these ones around. And I think it is quite special that we've seen one more. Now we're seeing a lot of them just dead on the sides of the road or in the bush when we're walking. So beautiful little thing. I'm, I'm sure this is going to be slightly easier for you. Come on, you can do this. Yes, come on. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you managed to do it. Very happy for you. Now getting all the way around. Whew, what a distance! I don't know if he's actually thought through too well. I can see there's another one in here, huh, making a ball as well. So you see, all of this elephant dung is still quite fresh and probably from sometime this morning, I would say. And he's just, there's one that we saw rolling away and there's another one that's in the middle of the dung still trying to make on his ball. But he's struggling a little bit because he's made it right in the middle of the dung and the ball is sitting in the middle. So he's actually got, he's, he needs to be able first to roll his ball of dung out of the dung to then be able to roll it away home. <laughs> so we're gonna go around them because we obviously don't want to hurt them. Is there 